Well, hey guys, good morning. Hope you're doing well. Hey, uh, I called a buddy of mine yesterday. Uh, my heart's pretty heavy for this guy, and uh, I called him yesterday. This is going to take a couple minutes, okay? This is not like my normal come to you to motivate you to get you excited. Uh, I had something I want to talk to you about. I've been thinking about this for uh, two or three hours this morning. I've been on the lake early. I got up really early, and I came out for daylight and had a great time, but uh, I called this buddy of mine yesterday and he answered the phone. I said, hey man, what's going on? And he said, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to get it together. And uh, he lost his dad four months ago. And this guy was tight with his dad. I mean, he talked to him three or four times a day, every day. And they were just best friends. And I really resonated with that because you guys that have been around our community a long time know of my relationship with my own dad. And we were close like that. And uh, I said, hey man, you uh, you gotta grieve, you gotta go through this. And he said, I know it. And I said, but there's gonna be a time where you're gonna have to kind of pick yourself up and move on. And he agreed, he said, I know that. And so we started talking and then he just kind of lost it. I mean, he couldn't even talk. And I remember that so well when my dad died in 2006. There'd be certain things that I would go through and uh, I, I, I would just lose it, uh, just simply because we were such good friends. And you know, this boat I've got, I've had 19 years. I've taken really good care of it, but there's not a time I get in this boat that I don't think about my dad at length because, you know, we tournament fish together for about 25 years, and then we just fished for about 10 years after that, after my dad got a little bit too old to tournament fish, and I, I just miss him. And I know you guys have family members that you've lost that you miss as well. Well, when my dad did die in 2006, for the next two or three years, uh, I didn't take my boat out. Uh, I didn't fish at all. I would go hunting and I would be out there 30 minutes in the woods and I'd just start crying because I missed my dad. I could hear him talking. I could hear him laughing. And uh, one day about three years into that, Robin came to me and she said, uh, why are you not fishing? Why are you not hunting? And I said, well, I just kind of lost my mojo, you know, and that's what that guy said yesterday. He said, I kind of lost my mojo. She looked at me and she said, uh, you're cheating our grandchildren. And <laughs> that wasn't what I expected her to say. I expected her to be compassionate and loving, and she was for about three years. And finally, she just said, you know, I agree with you, you need to grieve. Uh, but there's a time to pick yourself up and move on and and you need to be picking yourself up and moving on because our children and our grandchildren are getting cheated as a result of you not going fishing and hunting and doing the things that you love in the outdoors and in all the sports that you enjoy it made me mad at first just to be honest with you and we had a pretty good tussle over it <laughs> as a result i always said robin needed to be in the military we could have won the war a long time ago she is absolutely my champion though. She picks me up, she kicks me when I need to be kicked, she loves me when I need to be loved, and we all need people around us like that. So I'm very grateful for 40 years now, I've had a wife that would do that. My encouragement to you today is, is it, don't you think it's time to move on? I mean, isn't it time, whatever that is, whether it's a business loss, uh, I don't know, maybe it's a relationship that went bad, Maybe it was a divorce. Uh, maybe it was a financial crisis. Maybe you were bankrupt or you keep kicking yourself and blaming yourself. Well, guys, listen, primarily I'm talking to you men. We have people counting on us and depending on us. And we, we have responsibilities to our family. First of all, your family may be tired of you wallowing in your sorrows. And we got to pick ourselves up. We're cheating our kids. We're cheating our grandkids. I just want to encourage you today to think about that. What is it for you? And I'll be honest with you. I'm glad Robin did what she did because if she hadn't, my grandchildren wouldn't have had the experiences that they've been able to have now for the past 10 or 15 years. You know, the fish they've caught, the deer they've killed. My grandson killed an 11 point buck in my backyard last year, right? He wouldn't have had that opportunity had I not decided to get up and move on. And sometimes we need people around us to encourage us, to push us, to move on. Don't hear me wrong, there's a time to grieve, and I get it. You know, whether it be in the relationship or financially or in a death, there's a time to grieve. But my goodness, we need to move on and live our life. We're going to end up existing and not ever having lived when we won't decide to pick ourselves up. So I just want to encourage you today, whatever that is for you, 
I want to encourage you to today say, hey, Big A, you're right, man. It is time for me to move on. Well, I guess it's time for me to get out of here. I've had a great morning, enjoyed myself. It's beautiful this morning, as always, on the lake. I love it out here. Hope you guys have a great day. Decide today to pick yourself up and move on. Otherwise, you're cheating your family. Have a good day. I'm Big A, coming to you live from Ohicker Lake. We'll see you.